sauerkraut, waterfall, all olive, all bow, bow, wow, pow, tow, pow, south side, outside, pow, pow, outline, missile thought, fire, bounce, higher, pose, oh no. I was outside, now my power, pow, pow, now. Eyes where I should've speak, up to the upside down, camera obscured, power down, scuba, mommy in Cuba, my wit sounds good now. Out and about, title bow, bow, how loud, high, loud, move, tie, ass, tick, bow, on, Nasdaq, abstract, back and rockin' chow down, has me to do some style. Metrically outbound Matter of fact, past that ginger pop in the cooler Cooler than the medulla of Rick the Ruler Hula hooping with new bow downs from Nuba That's that life of a king, got my crown out Feeling accomplished, super loop of fresh chocolate Collective conscious, young crunk in your town now The amount of aircraft, snapping like a bear trap Tijuana Air Max, chainmail gone. The earthquakes, 100 dB, 90 BPM, heavy hitting them triplets, 100 sided dice, rolled a 79 twice. Get ready, we bringing the jazz back with the rhythm, we giving them zinc, we some Midwest liquid mission, tricky nicks and mixing, matching, scratching, rapping, action, Jackson making it happen, pap it, midi, patch it, mapping with a pinch of magic, casting master synthesis. We gang of weird givixens, listening close to O, slipping different widgets, mystic digits, coast to coast, pole to pole, folding time, golden time. Over low on That to me is a Negro face. That to me is a Negro face. That to me is a Negro face. You hear that, Jason? Doesn't say anything about it being a mongoloid. Alright, peace to everybody in the house. So boom, this is a lecture. This is directed directly at Jason Toltec. This is at Jason Toltec. And uh today uh we're gonna be talking about how Jason Toltec came at me earlier this year. I had made a post about um the Olmex. And um, I think I was in uh, North Georgia somewhere. Actually, no, I was near Atlanta. I was a little bit outside of Atlanta. And I was at a um, parking lot of a taquiera. And they had a giant Omeg head in the taquiera. And I posted it. And uh, Jason actually, uh, you know, commented on my post. I was like, yeah, Omegs aren't black. Omegs aren't black. So uh, to all the students today, this is a, a lecture on uh, disproving uh, Jason Toltec's theory that the Omex uh, heads weren't black. All right, so we're gonna so we're gonna go through a whole bunch of different information, uh, excerpts, mostly pictures and things like that. So we're gonna flip it around. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna start it up. All right, and uh, to Toltec, I remember at some point he was like, "Oh, you probably never you never been to Mexico. You don't know what you're talking about." Uh, I've been to um, I haven't been to all those sites, but I've been to Chichen Itza at least like five times, seven times, maybe maybe five times. I don't know. I went a bunch as a kid. I actually got, if you look in the background, I got a Mayan calendar right there that I, I think I, that was like 2018, uh, last time I was out there. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to flip it around. So we're going to start off with how this whole thing started. All right. So let's see. Yeah. So it started with this boom right here. So it started with this. So, uh, this is a uh, March 9th, right? So March 9th, um, I was like, Wow, escape from New York. I was getting away from the coronavirus. Love how random Takieta's embrace Black American history more than any other group. And they forgot to add the cornrows, though, right? You know, so I made that post, right? Oh, shout out to Vanessa. Shout out to everybody that's, uh, that, that's watching. All right, so yeah, I made this post about, this was uh, March 9th. And I was like, yeah, you know, they forgot to add the cornrows, right, right? So then, you know, then Jason, then Toltec comes at me and he's like, you obviously never been to Mexico. Africans aren't the only people to have wide noses and full lips. All right. All right. So then he posts this and he's like, he's trying to purport this kind of like white supremacist notion that black people never came to the Americas on their own, that they were only brought here in slave ships. So that's what this whole lecture is about today. We're going to be we're going to be debunking the white supremacist myth that, um, that basically says that, you know, uh, black people never figured out how to make ships. And uh, we just recently were brought here as slaves. Right. Even though slave comes from the word Slav. Right. So we're going to flip back around. All right. So shout out everyone connections. I'm going to wait for. OK, there we go. All right. So yeah, we're going to start this lecture up. All right. So to start, this is at Jason Toltec. All right. Now. All right, so so you can see he says you obviously never been to Mexico, right? 
I have, right? Got proof. I just showed a calendar I just recently bought two years ago. Now, he was showing this picture. See, this picture just popped up on the internet about um, two years ago. People started to, uh, people like Toltec, after seeing decades and decades of, of uh, black people, um, you know, comparing themselves to this clearly black sculpture, the Olmec heads, you know, he's trying to say like, oh, no, it's not a black person. It's a, this is a, uh, you know, an Indian person, right? That just uh, is overweight or, you know, has a very puffy face and has black features, has a, you know, a bigger nose, bigger lips or whatever. And uh, so today we're going to be disproving that. All right. And we're going to go to the sources. So like, we're going to start with this right here. This is clearly an Olmec head. Right, that's an Olmec head, and we're gonna go to uh, let's see. Right, so these Olmec heads were between six and fifty tons. Right, so the so modern uh, you know culture in Mexico still doesn't have the technology to, to do these things. Like I'm talking about the indigenous people. If you're talking about the Indians that are actually in, the, in Mexico today, you know these technologies were clearly brought from uh, you know from from black people. These aren't. You know, these are clearly black people. So he's so this whole lecture is about him trying to whitewash history. Right. And uh, so we're going to go way, way back. All right. So to start, we're going to have to let's see, we're going to go up to here. All right. We're just going to look at a little timeline right here. All right. This is just the Olmec timeline. So we can see the Olmecs were about, you know, about this time for some uh, 1500 B.C. Right. All the way up to about 500 B.C. All right. You see that? All right, so now we're gonna line that up, right, with some other cultures, right? Got that right here. You can see this right here. All right, we see the Olmecs, and the Maya came right after, right? We see all these other civilizations lined up, all right? Because usually when we're in school, we never, you know, they always just show us the, the, the Caucasian, uh, the Greeks and all that stuff. They never show everything kind of lined up. But uh, so what we're going to look at is a bunch of different things today. So you now, so now starting, we're going to look at over here. I'm going to flip over to, let's see, let me go to here right here. So I'm going to start out with, uh, you know, although I don't uh, agree with all of uh, Dr. Renuko uh, Rashidi's, uh, you know, studies. Um, you know, he's a you know well-known. Uh, archaeologist and you know he's he's really literally here at the uh at the site all right that piece right there by the way it's called el negro <laughs> that's what the people the peasants who dug it up in mexico called it el negro the black and this is an olmec artifact as well in fact it's so african looking that many of the so of the conservative olmec writer when they have conferences they don't even mention this piece this is about 1200 bc and it's about 12, well, it's old. And it's about 12 feet long. And it has the face of an African. I've been told that that's the face of a howler monkey. Okay. So we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of berries to break down. I'm gonna... All right, so that's what I wanted to show with that. All right, so so basically, you know, we've been told uh, uh, when Ivan Van Sertima, um, this is to Jason Toltec, this whole lecture is dedicated just to you, De Jason Toltec. Uh, you know, so when Ivan Van Sertima first presented his findings to like the National Archaeologist Conference of the World or whatever it was called at the time in like the 70s, you know, they laughed at him because it was all, you know, Caucasian people in the room. They laughed at him and, you know, they're like, nah, those are baby faces. Those are jaguar faces. Uh, Dr. Rashidi was just saying, uh, some of the people were even saying those are monkey faces. They could be anything but black people, right? And that's what Toltec was, was trying to say. Toltec was like, nah, those aren't black people. Those are just, you know, Mexican people that are very uh, overweight with uh, big noses and big lips. Right, a very rare phenotype of, of Mexican people. All right. All right, so we're gonna flip back around. All right, we're gonna flip back. All right. So we're back in this. I'm gonna play a little bit more. Let me get to your question, but let me make I wanna make Actually no, let me go over to here. So let's go a little bit farther back. All right, we're about to go back. We're about to go to uh, about to Morocco, right? So shout out to all the Moors in the house, you know. So in this lecture, when I'm talking about black people, you can, you know, switch that interchangeably with Moors, black people, pure homo sapiens, whatever you want to call us, right? 
So at least uh, 300,000 years ago, right, um, we have, uh, you know, bones that prove that black people have been on the earth for at least 300,000 years, right? So this is the proof, right? We've been here at least 300,000 years. Now, um, that's, uh, you know, we know we've been here longer than that, but, you know, uh, due to colonialism and white supremacy, they've been trying to, you know, lower the, the, the length of the black woman and black man's, you know, reign on earth, um, you know, because obviously that threatens white supremacy, right? So, you know, we have proof that, you know, we've been here, that at least black people have been here at least 300,000 years before that, you know, the oldest date was like 100,000 years, you know, over closer to, uh, on, the, on the east side of uh, Africa. And, uh, you know, like, uh, and the thing is now, you know, now this has totally changed that. So now we know that we have at least 300,000 years. Now, if you want to go beyond 300,000 years, uh, I would suggest any, anybody go check out um, Michael Cremo. All right, I'm going to look up Michael, I'm going to type Michael Cremo. There we go. Michael Cremo Forbidden Archaeology. All right. So if you want to know anything beyond that, you can look up Michael. Uh, this lecture is not going to talk about beyond 300,000 years. I'm just going to be talking about the Olmecs, but just to establish uh, everything that I'm going to be proving, you know, we're, we're just staying within, you know, uh, 300,000 years from now. Everything that's uh, verified as far as the entire scientific community. So we know that humans have been, that black people have been here uh, for longer than 3,000 years. We have a lot of proof of that. You know, there's artifacts all over the Americas, artifacts all over, all over the world, right? But, you know, they, there's a lot of... Uh, you know, racism within the archaeology world and people, you know, literally seeking to uh, destroy and, you know, subvert and hide black history. So this is that Jason Toltec. All right, we're going to flip back. All right, so these heads were about between six and 50 tons, right? So I'm going to type all make heads, all right? All make head, all right? Now, before, when you would type all make heads, you know, up until about two years ago, you would only see, uh, you know, comparisons with black people, right? But in the past two years, people started posting this thing that Jason's been posting recently, this picture, right? And they're like, oh, look, I, you know, this is, these are the Olmecs, you know? But the thing is, is that this guy is clearly not an Olmec. This is, you know, if you look at this face and then you look at this face, this is not the same face just because he's got big lips and a big nose and, and, he's, uh, and he's a little bit portly, doesn't mean that he is black. Like, obviously, if this dude was walking behind you in an alley, a dark alley, you'd be like, and he had a brim on his hat, right? His, you can see his helmet looks like a, like a, like a fitted. If he had a brim on his hat, or maybe his hat's backwards, right? If his hat was backwards, you know, he would clearly, you would clearly think he was black, right? So it's clearly black. And notice, you know, they, they try to show this picture, too. These are the only two pictures they have when they try to line up phenotypes. So this is what, what uh, Jason was trying to say. He's like, no, nah, they weren't black. They were just uh, Indians that had uh, bigger noses and bigger... But so today we're going to disprove this because this is totally fake. Now, the first thing we're going to uh, use to disprove this is we're going to talk about, you know, phenotypes and head types and, and, and different types of things like that. We're going to do a, a, a very extensive analysis, right? So let me go over to here. I'm going to go over to, all right, let's see, before we get to that, I'm going to go to, let's see, where's the Lucia woman? Nah. All right. So we're going to do some phenotype analysis. This is future parts of the lecture that you're going to see. So this is Lucia, right? So um, we started at 300,000 years ago, right? So we know that um, black people have come from Morocco at least 300,000 years ago. Uh, let me see. Where were we? We were right. Um, let me see over here. Let's find where we were. Okay, it was right here. All right, so, right, and I'm going to go to the region, right? So this is where, you know, we date back to at least, at least 300,000 years in Morocco, right? And, okay, there we go. We're back. So very, very close to Marrakesh. I've been to Marrakesh a couple of times. You can actually get a, a, a ticket from like southern Spain to Marrakesh, you know, on like EasyJet or Ryanair or whatever for like 30 bucks, you know, so, or 30 euros, right? So this hit, so this uh, skull that they found, uh, they spacked about 300,000 years, 
uh, is a black person, right? And how do we know this is a black person? How do we know that when we find something 300,000 years ago that it's a black person? Well, we know because there were no other people 300,000 years ago. Uh, Indian people have only been on this earth, Indian and Asian people have only been around for about 55,000 years, right? So given that Indian and Asian people have only been around for about 55,000 years, that means any bone that we find that's older than 55,000 years is a black person, right? Okay, so now let's take, let's look at the oldest bones that have, or the oldest artifacts that have ever been found in America. Uh, let me see. So I have it in an article. So there we go, right here. All right. So a new study says humans were in the Americans, the Americas 130,000 years ago, right? This was a mammoth bone that was chopped up and, you know, humans were eating it and it was, they found it by a, um, by like a, a, you know, a campfire with, you know, chopped up bones and people use tools. And, you know, so it's clearly, this is clearly humans chopping up bones and using tools in the Americas 100,000 years ago. I mean, 130,000 years ago, right? Okay, so, you know, we know that at 130,000 years ago, there were only black people on earth. There were no other uh, ethnic groups or other races or whatever of people, you know, the, the uh, black people didn't mix, we didn't mix our DNA with the Homo Neanderthalus uh, traits um, until about 55,000 years ago. So it's about 55,000 years ago when you see uh, the, the first um, mixes, the first Dravidians, the, uh, the first times that the Neanderthal traits were introduced in the human genome, right? So this is 130, and this is in California. So this is what they're not teaching in school. This information is being hidden. Um, this, is, this isn't this is even a, a, a debatable thing. This is like very, very real, like 130,000 years ago, all right? And this is in California. So they found it in California, so I'll read it. All right, so in the winter of 1992, a construction crew in San Diego, California, started cutting into the rocks that flanked the State 54 Highway in a bid to widen the road. Those rocks hailed from the Pleistocene period and were rich in Ice Age fossils. So scientists from the San Diego Museum of Natural History accompanied the crew to recover whatever they unearthed. Among bits of horse, camel, dire wolf, and ground sloth, they found the remains of a single mastodon, an extinct mammoth-like animal. And we noticed that there was something different about it, says Thomas Demir, who was part of the who was part of the team, all right. Based on several lines of evidence, the way the bones were broken, the way they lay, and the presence of large stones that show curious patterns of wear and are out of place in the surrounding sediment, the team thinks that the early humans used the rocks to hammer their way into the mastodon's bones. That wouldn't have have had been contentious in itself, but the team also claims that, that the bones from the uh, Mastodon are 130,000 years old. That would push back the earliest archaeological evidence for humans in North America to a whopping uh, 115,000 years. To put that in perspective, for decades, the first American settlers were thought to be the Clovis people who arrived 13,000 years ago, right? But by discovering older sites with strong evidence of human activity, archaeologists confirmed that the continent had a pre-Clovis presence that dates back uh, beyond 14,600 years, or perhaps even further. Genetic studies have also suggested that modern humans entered America from Asia even earlier, around 23,000 years ago, right? So that's all like the, you know, people are talking about Bering Strait and stuff, all that, like all of that. All right. So the thing about the main thing about this lecture is that we're, I'm going to be proving that um, how easy it is. Like if you if you take a, a bottle and you take a bottle and you seal the bottle and you're in any continent, you can throw that bottle in the water and that bottle could go anywhere in the world. A bottle of uh, um, that bottle could land in, you know, another it could, it could go anywhere around the globe. You don't need land bridges and you don't need all these, you know, things that they try to purport. Right, so let's flip back to this. All right, so let's go back to here. So, so yeah, we have uh, humans in uh, 
in uh, California, in San Diego, California, 130,000 years ago, right? 